Hello guys, um, welcome back Superchargers, this is my last day of winter break, maybe some of your guys's, um, and today, um, the Superchargers are actually, because it's Kavya Supercharged, I'm sorry, I was talking to my mother, you, you might hear some background stuff from my sister and my dad and my mom, but anyways, please hit the subscribe button, like, and notification bell so that when I post a video, you see it. And, um, also, they're playing a game back there, sorry. Anyways, um, yeah, today we will be reading Truly Tyler. I will read it out loud for you. I will show you the pictures, okay? Ongoing and ongoing. Okay, so, and I can also read backwards sometimes, depends, but, okay. Ready? Prologue. I don't know if I should read the prologue or not, but I think it explains a lot. Sometimes I look around. The, sometimes I look around the cafeteria at lunch and wonder why everything is set up the way it is. Why the jocks sit near the front and the science club kids sit in the back and the manga kids sit near the ice cream freezer. Why the volleyball sit, team sits near the windows and the orchestra kids sit near the tray conveyor belt, which, by the way, is kind of unfortunate blend of mushy peas, pizza dregs, and body odor. I guess I'm look lucky I'm into sports. Otherwise, I might un end up here. Computer nerds, science freaks, and math club kids. I, it's not that my friends aren't smart, too. Okay, maybe not smart, smart. But there are sometimes I think... Maybe it shouldn't be this way. I doubt every anyone else in my group thinks about this stuff. They they probably don't see the point of being friends with anyone else. Not sure if that's good or bad. All I know all I know is more and more I kind of like getting to know different people kinds of people. Art and manga kids. I just wish we weren't so divided. As you can see, there are two girls that are highlighted. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're done with the prologue. On to Tyler. Okay, Tyler. I'm sure lots of kids are sad when winter break is over, like us. Like the ones who get picked on at school, or the ones who go away with their families to Florida and have to come back to the cold and snow. Even the ones who stay home during break and do regular stuff, playing video games, watching movies, probably hate it when they return to school. Welcome back. The fun's over. Me, I'm the opposite. I love going back. I know that sounds weird, but if you lived in my house, you'd understand. It's not exactly an amusement park. Boredom park. Yawn. Rides. Roller napper. Snorry go round. Tilt a snooze. Things haven't been the same since Zach. That's my big brother. Went to high school. Now he's now he always goes out with his with his friends or to practice or work. When he is home, he stays in his room and plays be bass guitar or talks to his girlfriend. Zach stopped playing Fortnite with me a while ago. And all my mom wants to do when she's home is play Scrabble. Hundred millionth zillionth round. Is squirky a word? But I understand, Zach. If I had a driver's license and my own car bought with money from a Taekwondo assistant's job, I'd be gone too. But that's not happening for two years, ten months, and fourteen days. Countdown till Tyler's sixteen.
I did try to make the most of being home. I played video games and pick up basketball at the Y with Anthony Randall and Joe Lungo for the first week. But a huge blizzard kept us at home the rest of the break. All I did was practice my trumpet and draw. Blar. I did get a... I did get special permission. Think begging. To go to Anthony's house for Christmas Eve. He's my best friend. Don't tell don't tell Joe. Anthony, Joe, Ethan, Malik. Anthony first, Joe Joe second, and Ethan and Malik are tied for third. And there's the rest of the beatball team. Anthony and I have known each other since preschool. I've only known Joe since last year, when he when we came to Lakefront Middle from from different elementary schools. We were put on the same team in sixth in sixth grade. Our school is so big they divide in the classes into term teams, and that's when we became friends. I'm going to take a teeny tiny break, okay? Be right back. Anyway, back to Christmas Eve, which was awesome. Anthony's parents made this whole spread and nothing from a frozen bag. Anthony has two little sisters and talk who talk nonstop, nonstop and fight over the butter rolls. His huge shaggy dog, Phineas, was under the table the whole time, taking turns licking crumbs and my big toe. Crumbs and sock-covered toe. Tied for deliciousness. His dad asked me lots of questions, which totally mortified Anthony. But didn't bother me. My dad usually asked me the same thing. The same two things on the phone when we talk. How's school? How's basketball? Maybe he'd ask more, but he's always interrupted by Michelle. More on her. There's more on her later. As you probably guessed, my parents are divorced, which is no big deal. I know there are there are every so are every other kids, but my mom works a lot, and even though she's a good parent and involved in all that, she's pretty tired by the end of the day. Yawn. And since she had to work most of the break and only wanted a few low key Scrabble nights, that just added to the boredom. Crickets chirping, chirp, chirp. Tumbleweed blowing, lone wolf howling. Sad room of cliches. I just got back to school, guessing it'll be the only, I'll be the only one happy there to be there. Miserable student, miserable teacher, miserable dead rat, and me, happy. I will definitely be, ha- definitely will be happy to be around my friends and pump my- for my favorite classes like PE and Miss Lori's art class. I started t- taking art this year and I'm hooked. After our winter Zentangle project, I went home and made this. Five more Zentangle... And went home and made, like, five more Zentangle drawings. Zentangle is a form of meditative doodling using structured patterns. Zentastic. I'm at my locker before homeroom. Anthony is in full winter gear walks over that's what i love about the guy he never cares what anyone thinks hat with side flaps 
mittens, deep freeze parka, snow pants, snow boots. Probably keeps a bunch of quilts in his locker. Fortnite tonight? You're on. Your house this time? Yep. Technically, we can play a part and talk on our phones, but it's way more fun in person. I love playing at his house, mainly because of my gaming partner. Puddle of Love Jewel. Anthony unloads about 40 pounds of outerwear in his locker while I dump my slushy coat and hat in mine and grab my binder. Hey, Emmy. Hey, hi, Tyler. Did you have a good break? Did you have a good break? Blushing. Yep, I made some news and tangles. Some news and tangles. With butt clouds? My art project. <laughs> nah, but now I want to add some. See you in art. Sure. Anthony and I make our way through the jungle, aka main hall, trying to ju dodge a couple of scary looking eighth graders. 14 year olds with beards just isn't right. Her face looked like flaming hot Cheetos. Is she still crushing you? I don't know. We're just friends. They're talking about Emmy. This girl right here. Okay, we have about four more pages. What is that? My sister just put in my ear, fishy on me. Okay. Before winter break, Emmy Douglas wrote me a really mushy love letter that I was that I wasn't supposed to see. Joe found it and showed it to me in half the school. I guess he thought it was funny, but it was totally uncool of him to do that. Even though she said she wrote it as a joke, I felt really bad that she was embarrassed. So I started talking to her and didn't mention the note again. Now we're kind of friends and hang out in art. Viral dance move. Ha ha, snort. That's Joe. And that's Anthony. And that's Tyler. And these two, there's a whole nother book on them. Shove. Hey, losers. You know, you the, know those science experiments that Mr. Danker had us do over break? Yeah, because we had to do them. Well, I tried one of those green one with biofilm and all this green muck grew in a cup. I kept it in the fridge and guess what? My uncle came over and drank it. Ugh. Oh, sorry, wasn't that showing that picture? There we go. Yeah, he's on some kind of juice cleans on and thought it was a green smooth. Till the aftertaste hit. We all crack up. I pretend to vomit, and that's the exact moment when Celia walks by with her girl posse. Real mature, Tyler. Giggle. Uh. Now it's my turn to go flaming Cheetos. Celia is the qu is queen is the queen bee of our class. We dated for two weeks in the beginning of seventh grade. The two of the longest weeks of my life. Wore light blue every day to match with her eyes. Helped wash her volleyball. Now gently lower it into its bath. Into its bath. 
force me to respond to text to her and text and emojis only. After that, I gave up on dating in middle school. Which, by the way, is just holding hands in the hallway and surrendering and surrendering half of your French fries. Everybody, this is my sister, as you know, Aria. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. The three of us head to our homerooms. Anthony and I in one direction. Joe in another. Later, dudes. Later, chipmunk. Inside joke. It's an inside jo joke. We walk in and see some guys from basketball. The season started last month. Mm. The season started last month, but we didn't have game games or practice over break. We're so ready to get back to it. And we talk about our upcoming big game with Valley Bottom Middle. We've got to beat them so we can go to the playoffs. Mr. Fazekas blows in red face from the cold and takes roll. Frozen, numb, tongue. Tyler Ross, achoo! Yawn. Kink, kink. I sneak text Joe a meme of an evil looking chipmunk and in a popcorn bowl and labeled it Joe. Joe sends me a photo of a dog butt. I've missed these stupid sneaky school texts. I put my phone away and breathe in that familiar combo of textbooks floor cleaner, and body spray. Cough. Hey, no one getting sick before the game. We need you. Just lay off the Axe body spray. Two more pages, and then we're done with this chapter, and yeah. I'm not worried about getting sick, and I'm excited about getting back into practice and stuff. But for some reason, Ethan's word gives me a funny feeling. The bell rings. It's not even first period, and Ethan is give is already budding, budding, and I was already putting on the pressure. He's worse than Coach Dirtle. Yeah, he's intense, but I get it. I want to crush him, too. Whoa, I'm in the video. All I want to do is play. Let's start by beating Ethan at practice. Maybe that'll shut him up. My dad's flexing back there. You don't need to see that. I'm sorry. I'm very, very, very sorry. <laughs> Anyways. We laugh and walk into science. Yeah, it feels good to be back. Ouch. Ping. Brace, braces rubber band. Sorry. Okay, guys. Well, we will get back to this, to Emmy section later, okay? Anyways, as you guys... You saw my dad. He has his own business, okay? Here, I'll tell you about it. It's JST Athlete. He trains athletes. Go check that out online. You'll really like it. And his name is Jody Johnson. So, yeah. Anyways, hit the subscribe button. Hope you enjoy our videos. And see you next time. Bye, Superchargers.